Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for April 2nd, 2021 from Luke chapter 12, God is the good gift giver. Previously, we heard that Jesus noted that your life is not about the abundance of your possessions. And by the way, they're not really your possessions. They are God's gifts to you. And so we need to be content with what God has chosen to give to you. Then Jesus tells us to be ready because he's going to return. So we shouldn't be chasing after more gifts that God hasn't given to us. Then Peter asks a very interesting question in all of this. From Luke chapter 12, verse 41, Peter said, Lord, are you telling this parable for us or for all? Now, there is more to this question than you may realize. Is Holy Scripture just for a particular group of people? The answer is no. The Scriptures is for all people. Notice that Jesus does not directly answer that question. The answer that Jesus gives, verse 42, And the Lord said, Who then is the faithful and wise manager, whom his master will set over his household? to give them their portion of food at the proper time. Blessed is that servant whom his master will find so doing when he comes. Truly I say to you, he will set him over all his possessions. Do we realize that God is a good gift giver? And we receive what God has given and do we use it properly? If so, then we will be blessed when the master returns, that is, when Jesus returns. However, Jesus continues, verse 45, But if that servant says to himself, My master is delayed in coming, and begins to beat the male and female servants, and to eat and drink and get drunk, the master of that servant will come on a day when he does not expect him, and at an hour he does not know and will cut him in pieces and put him with the unfaithful. And that servant who knew his master's will but did not get ready or act according to his will will receive a severe beating. The answer that Jesus is really giving to us in this parable is yes. This parable applies to all people. Will there be a punishment? For those who do not do the master's will, the answer is yes. But you might be asking, well, what is the master's will? From Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 5, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. Basically, it is faith. Faith that trusts in God and his promises. And faith trusts that God is a good gift giver. However, if we reject this gift of faith and we reject Jesus, then we're not doing the master's will. Then Jesus adds this very interesting sentence, which may be a bit perplexing. Jesus said in verse 48, But the one who did not know and did what deserved a beating will receive a light beating. Everyone to whom much was given, much of him will be required. And from him to whom they entrusted much, they will demand the more. Will there be people who don't know the will of God? St. Paul would say no, that all people know God's will because it's written on our hearts. Hear what St. Paul has to say in Romans chapter 12, verse 15. They show that the work of the law is written on their hearts, while their conscience also bears witness and their conflicting thoughts accuse or even excuse them. What Jesus is really trying to say is that those who have been given much, like good teaching in God's word, an opportunity to hear, learn, and study God's word, more would be expected of them. God is expecting us to follow God's will and to be content with what God has given to us, for God is the good gift giver. Join me again tomorrow as we hear about peace versus division. God's peace and many blessings be with you, and thank you for listening, and please take an opportunity to share this message for, with others. 
If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainville, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.